Okay, this will be a quick video on how to disassemble, disassemble a mower blade spindle hub assembly on a Skag Tiger Cub. Uh, note that uh, in my previous video I showed you how to take off the hub and pull it. You notice I made my mark for reinstallation afterwards, so there that is. And I'm gonna, I bought uh, this kit 47003 from Skag, order from my local dealer. It consists primarily of a spindle holder and then a bearing and a race driver. And you'll see that in the next video, how to use that. I highly recommend buying these tools. They're a hundred bucks, but they make the job super easy. All right, okay, the first go. step is to put this spindle holder onto your spindle. Obviously it's keyed. As you can see, I'm just using the same key. They do provide two keys in the kit. And then you can, if you want, use this uh, set screw to tighten it up and hold it in place. This all fits pretty tight. I don't know if this set screw is necessary, but I'll do it anyway. All right, once you've got the spindle holder in place, and then I just got it upside down in the vise, and I've got just a normal uh, inch and a half socket here that I'm going to use to replace or to remove the spindle nut. I'm going to try to do it the old fashioned way with, uh, you know, uh, bars and cheetah bars, etc. See if that's going to be uh, doable. If not, I'll resort to the impact, but I'm trying to do it the old fashioned way. I know everybody doesn't have a air impact handy. Those, but Okay, despite my earlier comment about getting an impact, I couldn't get it off with my impact, which is a pretty, pretty good impact, but not, not industrial strength. Uh, I used coil oil, a little of heat, and then ended up with about a four and a half foot cheater bar on the, or had about four and a half feet of leverage on the end of my, on a, end of my half inch bar. So a lot of force to get that off. This is an original factory job. This nut gets torqued to 150 foot pounds on reassembly or on assembly. So I'm not sure why it's a dang tie, but it was. All right, so now we got the nut off. I'm just gonna lift this hub off of the spindle. And then I'll show you what that looks like after we get apart. All right, first thing that'll come out, I had to use a hammer around the edge and drive the hub up a little bit to get all this brake free if it's so tight. Um, so first thing that comes out is this this spacer that's on the very bottom. So take that off and set that aside. Now you're gonna pull the rest of the assembly up and over the top of the spindle and there'll be some parts, like I said, down inside here. So pay attention to all that, and how all that comes out. All right, there's a, got the assembly off of the spindle. And here it is sitting on the tabletop. And what we'll do now is there's a seal here and here in the top. So that's, that's the top seal. So we'll pull the seal out here. I got a seal puller that I use. You don't have to have one, it makes the job easier. So next thing we'll do is we'll pull the seals out top and bottom and pull the bearings out next. All right, this is what I was talking about earlier about pay attention how this stuff comes out. So first thing you pull out is the seal comes out and then you can just, this bearing just sits down there and on the side of its race, but with all this grease on here on the underside of this is this spacer ring right here. I'm gonna be sure and hang on to that. All right, got the uh, bearings out. So now there's two uh, races that you wanna be sure and if you go to this much trouble, you wanna place these. There's one here and one in the bottom. You can see down there maybe. Anyway, this is this is the bottom race up here. I've got it upside down. I'll show you a little bit of, of a trick of that. But all you're trying to do is catch the edge of this on the edge of the race and punch it out with, with a, just an average size hammer. We'll see how that goes. Okay, here's a little bit of a trick. I don't know how appropriate it is, but it'll work for me. When you go to try to remove the, the bottom race, down there at the bottom. There's, there's, this is a movable sleeve right here in the inner part right here. And there's not enough of a lip to catch with a punch on the lip of the race. So what I did was 
I started driving and there's a snap ring. I don't know if it's hard to see. My light isn't real good here. Right here in the gap of this snap ring right in here, I just put my punch in here and gently hit a few strokes here. And I would rotate the ring around in here and just work my way slowly around. You don't want to booger up the face of that, the face of this uh, spacer in here. But just gently take a and work your way around the face of the spacer and tap down, and it will start to drive out the the race below it. And then once you get a little space, then you can flip it back over, push the inner spacer back up against this snap ring and you'll have plenty of leverage or lip to bite on that um, bottom race and finish driving it out. All right, disassembly is complete. Um, as you can tell, I left the uh, directions also will tell you from Skag that they'll include that snap ring right there in the kit, replace only if necessary. Mine looks good. I really don't have any idea how to get that out of there, to be quite honest. So if anybody knows how to get that out there, uh, leave a, leave me some directions in the comments section or whatever. I'm kind of curious about that. It didn't, didn't seem obvious to me. But then here's, here's your parts kind of laid out. Here's that center sleeve that goes back in into the middle of the hub. And then um, same bearings on each end with races and here's they call both of these spaces, although that thing's a snap ring right there, but it doesn't attach to it. It's not, it doesn't sit down in a groove or anything. It just sits on the bottom of that bearing there. And then seals and seals, uh, or this goes, uh, yeah, the seal, seal goes on, then this, and then the nut at 150 uh, foot pounds of torque. Anyway, that's disassembly, and then the next video will be uh, assembly. Thanks.